So it's quite easy to make this scrollable image where you hover on it, you could scroll it so that you could see if you have a big image something like this, you could just scroll up and down and it works in mobile too. Or you could use the second version in which as soon as I move my mouse over, it just does this animation. So let's quickly get started and see how we actually made this. So first of all, I'll just create a temporary container and then you could do it however you want. I'll just create like a random one right now. And then wherever you want to use this image, you will add a container for it. And it's just one extra container. So it's not going to be like a much performance difference. It just adds like one extra div. That's all. And instead of this, you will need to set a minimum height, a specific one. So I'll add 750, but you could add anything that you want. And inside of this one, we will have our image, which is like this. So let me just select a image. So I am selecting this image and just remember that if for some reason when you are adding like a big image like this and your image is getting blurry, I actually have a video on my YouTube channel which shows how you can remove that effect because it is done by default WordPress because it tries to compress it to just like lower the size of the image so make sure you add, check that video if your image is getting blurry usually if it's like too big it would get blurry so you could check that out but this is how it looks i'm going to make this to full like this so that it is not blurry at all and you could see it's currently way too big right now like this so what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to select this image, go into advanced, go into position and click absolute. And then it does not take any space. And if you click on this container, which was, which was our image container, you could see the black color border is around here like this. So based on whatever size you set, it would be like showing. So I want it to be like 750. So I'll keep it around there and I'll select this container, go into additional options and to hidden but you could see it does work but it does not add the scroll bar so I'm, I'm just going to keep it default because we want to have a scroll bar right and we, i'll go into advanced and i'll type here something like dm uh, i guess scroll container you could type anything that you want and inside this container if you have elementor pro you could simply just go to custom css but if you don't have it what you could do is you could just uh, select this container type html and then press it once like this and it's usually better to get elementor pro just like so there are so many features and then it also makes it easier to organize stuff rather than using the html widget so if you want to buy elementor pro use the link in description i also have like lots of templates that you could check i also have a facebook group that i just created like this week and that way you could ask some questions or just you know need any answers for my templates or anything you could check that out so yeah if you want to use custom css you could do that i'll use the html panel around here but before that let's see what was the name so it was dm scroll container that we added around here let's go to html and then here we will type style obviously if you are using custom css you don't need to type style okay i'll press dot press this and then inside of this i'll type overflow why scroll like this and you could see there is extra bar which is showing at the bottom now this might be like case by case whether it gets shown or not so what you could do is you could type overflow x is hidden like this and you could see it does not get shown and it's very case by case but it's just good to have like both of this added and if i do preview changes let's see how this looks You could see I have a scroll bar and if I scroll down, you could just check your image like this. Now, another thing is if you don't like the scroll bar, there is like lots of tutorials on how you could just add like a good CSS to change the scroll bar uh, design. And you could just add it to your DM scroll bar, uh, what you call design around here. And it would just customize the scroll bar. But again, you could do all of the settings that you want. You could make it, I guess, 25 pixels of border like this. So that it is like curved you could give like some sizing or uh, sorry uh borders width like this and you see it looks nice like this a good way to show your image and rest of it is just something that i've done which is i've added like added an icon so if i have to show you guys how i did that i just added like an icon uh inside this container and then let's place it above here 
let me make it something like i guess this <laughs> this uh, icon design it's not visible so let's give it a z index of higher something like two three i'm just using random icon for now to like quickly quickly show you guys instead of finding the perfect one and inside of this i'll do absolute i'll make this be uh, 50 percent i'll make this be 50 percent and currently it does look in center but if for some reason yours not in center usually it would not be in center it's, it's also i think not in center let's just check you could see it is not uh, completely in center so you also have to add transform and then i'll do offset minus 50 and then let's do offset of minus 50 and that way it would be center of this container so it's parent container which is this one and now it's in the perfectly center like this let's give it a name something like uh, i guess dm scroll icon and we know our container css class is dm scroll container so we can just type around here that when we hover on dm scroll container i want to change something of dm scroll icon and that is make it have opacity of zero and that way when we hover on it you could see it just gets invisible and for some reason it is like not doing the animation like this where it is like not being fading out but instantly uh, turning invisible you could go and type one more thing which is dm scroll icon like this uh, let's do transition and for the opacity i can just do like one second or something and that then it would take like one second to like get invisible for some reason if it's doing like this that's why we use like transition so i like 0.3 usually works nicer and we got this effect and on the image we could simply do is go into style go into css filter lower the brightness go into the hover and then make everything to be like default and then when we hover on it it does this here's an option of transition duration and you could see we got this nice effect and then if i go into my responsive mode you can actually just select this container and then like reduce the size for like each one of it so maybe 500 for the tablet and then 300 for the mobile something like this now let's check our second version in which as soon as we scroll you could see this happens now for that we are actually using uh this is this one right okay so you could see we are actually using some extra code which which is basically just we are just translating on hover that's like the same way that we did for the icon you see when the way we did for the icon is we did that whenever we uh, hover on our container we want to do something to the icon which is make its opacity to be zero and for this we are simply just making it go on our top part like this so there is some more configuration that we need to do so let's say you don't want this type of effect so i'm just going to work on this one rather than creating a new one i'm just going to remove all this stuff and rather than overflow why because we don't want to scroll i'll simply just make it to be hidden like this or you could simply just go and make it hidden from here too like overflow hidden but let's just keep it like this for now and i'm going to do is i need to give the image which is this one some name or some css class because we want to control it so i'm going to call it dm scroll image like this so when we hover on it so when we hover on our dm scroll container i want to do is i want to change uh, i want to do something to my image and that is i want it to move above so if i do transform translate zero percent on x-axis because we don't want to move it left and right we want to move it up and down so i can just do like minus 100 percent let's see what happens and you could see it does work but it is actually getting outside this container and the reason is we cannot actually calculate it perfectly right because uh again we just cannot do it so what we can simply do is if we choose this container we know we have used 750 pixels right so i'm just going to go into my html let me just confirm what i've done okay so in this one rather than it going till top we actually want it to just go till the bottom so what we could do is 
we could type calculate minus 100% so that it goes like till top like this plus this container's height that is 750 pixel like this and that would be our y axis and we can just add it in our y like this and you could see it just works but it would not work for tablet and mobile so what we need to do is if you go into my tablet you could see it, it it does not work it does not go till end and for that we need to add like uh, extra code which is like very simple it's not much complicated we just type media max width 1024 pixels open curly bracket close curly bracket and then add the same code inside of this one and what this basically does is if you uh, check around here we have desktop tablet and mobile right and if i click on here or hover on it it says that these settings are applied to devices which have 1024 pixel screen width and down which means tablets and mobile uh, but if we do some changes in here which is 767 and below then it will apply to uh, these settings will apply to any devices which have a screen width of 767 pixels and down so that is the same thing that i've done that we have said that when our screen width is like 1024 pixels or down we want to use this code and we don't want to use this code and inside of this we have given it 500 pixels so always implemented to is change this to 500 pixels and you could see now it just works perfectly but again a mobile device is less than 1024 pixels so this setting would be applied to mobile too so if we go around here you could see it is doing some weird stuff right now like this so we need to just copy this again and then type for 767 pixels and we have given this one as 300 pixels so let's just make this one 300 like this and you could see it now takes it to the bottom like this so let's just confirm you could see this is where my image ends after our commitment to success in this one it ends at the bottom like this and then it ends around here so all we simply need to do is i'll give this code in description don't worry all you simply need to do is add the height of your main container around here tablet container around here and then mobile container around here if you are using the second one okay and that's like very simple to do you could uh, get it from the description i'll also create like a pretty quick template for you guys to use it and yeah lots of cool stuff facebook group is there my instagram is there anything that you want to contact you could do it comment on it or anything and yeah that's all goodbye thanks for watching bye